Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that, link it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit once this unit is sold that link will be removed the rove light series by travel light rv is designed to be affordable and extremely towable all rove light campers are constructed with hydrolite sidewalls a honeycomb composite floor and aluminum chassis all interior panels are asdell composite exterior walls are gel coat fiberglass and the seamless poured resin fiberglass roof is one piece from bumper to hitch we will not be undersold on new travel light units and will beat or match anyone's pricing Give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. All righty, folks, here we are inside of this 2023 Rove Light 14BH by Travel Light RV. This unit has the off-road package. Can't really tell that from the inside, but you can see that on the outside portion of this tour. We've got the Rove Light construction, which has hydrolite sidewalls, which are Asdell interior, gel coat fiberglass exterior. Got a one-piece poured fiberglass resin roof that's seamless from front to rear. We've got a honeycomb composite floor, very limited wood in this coach. So there's only some wood in the cabinets, lots of composite materials. Not only makes this a super lightweight travel trailer, it also eliminates a lot of the typical issues you have with wood and rot and things like that that happen when wood gets wet. We got about 72 inches of headroom here in this camper. Got a fantastic fan style here in the center of the coach. You can use it like an attic fan or an exhaust fan got hard surface flooring makes it easier to keep this coach clean got our fire extinguisher got our fuse panel here this is our dc fuses and our ac breakers we've got our furnace here this runs on propane the coach battery will run the fan this is our coach battery disconnect we'll disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw we'll also disconnect your charging systems to those coach batteries we've got a 12 volt or dc fridge freezer it's got our freezer up top Got our air conditioner coming in through the side of the camper here. This is nice because it eliminates height so you can get this into a smaller garage and also eliminates one more hole in your roof. That runs on AC power, so the shore power plug-in. Got a screen door entry. Got a switch here for the power awning, push that to run that in and out. This is our porch light switch. Got AC power here. Got nice composite type counters in this unit. Got a single basin sink here, nice tall spigot. We've got the two burner propane cooktop. We've got a screen here on this side. Got a blind you can pull down. Got some speakers inside the coach here. The speakers on the inside and the outside are all controlled through this head unit here. You can put some headphones in, USB, HDMI, or auxiliary. It also has a built-in tuner. Got some storage up top for your food or other things in the kitchen. A smoke detector. Put some dirt on the floor there. I'm gonna flip you around now and show you the bathroom. So we've got a door you open here to access this wet bath. Not much of a step up and in. Everything's gonna happen right here in this little room. Got a shower curtain you can pull around you. Got a light in here, we got an exhaust fan. Put your shower head there. Everything's gonna drain right into the floor. In the back here, got windows with screen over here. Got blinds throughout. Got a screen portion here on the left and here on this side. So we got a sofa style couch here in the back. Basically you can use this as a See, you can sleep right here. You can also slide this out to create a bed. This is the BH model, so it stands for bunkhouse. So this is actually a bunk up top here that you can put down. So I'm gonna drop some pictures here in just a moment to show you what that looks like. This bunk has 150 pound capacity. So we've got two beds there. Then up front, we've got a dinette style. There's some storage underneath this part here. Got this table with a tripod mount. That's nice because there's no mount on the floor there to stub your toes. You can also use this inside or outside of the camper. Got a noxious gas detector down there. Got a fire escape window over here. 
that does have a blind on it. Got a blind here, uh, excuse me, a screen portion on the right. It's got our dinette up here. It's nice for game night, things like that. If you're out camping, whatever you're doing, you can also drop this table down to make a bed up here in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what the beds look like made up in this coach and get some measurements. The front dinette bed measures approximately 54 inches north, south, or front to back, and 74 inches east, west, or side to side. There is storage beneath the dinette that can also be accessed from outside of the camper. The lower bunk in the rear measures 36 inches north, south, or front to back, and 74 inches east, west, or side to side. The upper bunk measures 32 inches north, south, or front to back, and 74 inches east, west, or side to side, and has a 150-pound weight limit. There is room to use the lower as a seating area with the upper bunk pulled out. Here we are sitting in the rear of the Rove Light 14BH. I'm reading a book on anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. We've got the control for the tankless water heater. Got two USB plugins. These will run directly off the coach battery. Got the thermostat for the propane furnace. Got our levels test here. Don't always trust these. Water pump on off. That'll pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, and toilet. Got a spot up here where you can put a TV. Got our coax coming in. We've got an amplified signal antenna on this. Got two more USB plugins. We've also got AC power here. So these Rove lights are super cool, super lightweight. These are perfect if you're looking for a ultra towable model with ample room, hard sides, limited wood. Check these out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2023 Rove Light 14BH by Travel Light RV. This unit has the off road package. I'm going to drop specs on the screen for you as we go around the outside. We've got Hydro Light sidewalls, which are essentially Asdell inside, gel coat fiberglass outside. We've got a one-piece poured resin fiberglass roof that, that is seamless from front to rear. Got a power jack, a light. Got spots for two coach batteries. Got a propane tank here. You can take that right off the unit. Got the back of the water heater there. This unit is pre-wired for solar. So you plug a solar panel in there. We've got our, our, excuse me, our fresh water connection here. So you'll fill the fresh water tank here. That water will travel wherever the RV goes. We've got our city water connection. Got the back of the furnace, got our spray port, got our black drain here, got our gray over here. We do have four stabilizer jacks. You flip these down here to stabilize the camper. Got the bigger wheels, bigger fenders here in the off-road package. Got the air conditioner that comes out the side. That helps get this into smaller garages. We've got our shore power cord coming in. We've got our coax for our cable TV. Or if you stay somewhere that has cable TV, you can plug in there. We've got a nice big storage unit here that goes all the way across the camper. Put your fishing poles, things like that. Got aluminum frame and chassis on this one. Super lightweight. Got a bumper here. You can pop the caps off the ends to put a sewer hose in there. This is pre-wired for a backup camera up here. That nine foot power awning is really nice. You can pop that in and out really easily. Got some fold out steps here. Got two AC plugins. You can plug things in beneath the awning. Got speakers. Those are controlled via the head unit on the inside of the coach. These are aircraft aluminum steps here from Torque Lift. Got storage here. This is beneath the front passenger side dinette bench up in the front. So you can access this from the inside. Got some of our goodies that come with the camper there to get you going. Super nice, super light Rove lights. Check these out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers.